Marvel Heroes is shutting down, MXM bites the dust as well. All that and more, I'm Zach Sharps and this is Free to Play Weekly. First up in the news this week, after a lot of silence regarding Gazillion's free-to-play ARPG Marvel Heroes, we finally know what's going on. The game is shutting down. And what seems like an odd move on the surface considering the game's somewhat recent console launch becomes much clearer after Disney's response regarding the matter. It seems as though Disney severed their ties with Gazillion Entertainment and since they own the license, shutting down the game is the next step in the process. As such, if you wish to hop into this ARPG while it's still live, you'll have until the end of the year to do so. Once the new year hits, a new grave will form with the tombstone reading, Marvel Heroes. With Thanksgiving around the corner, it seems NCSoft isn't so thankful for the response that their free-to-play MOBA Master X Master received in the past months. It, due to this, they're shutting the game down on January 31st, 2018. Between now and the shutdown date, all players will have 500,000 X coin to unlock everything in the game, all modes will be turned on, and purchases made between August 30th and today will be refunded. Sad to see this one go, but despite me liking the game at launch, it just never grabbed me for the long term. Seems it had the same effect on others. With the depressing news out of the way, NCSoft had another announcement and they're full of them this week regarding their highly anticipated Lineage Eternal. After being put on the back burner a few months back due to a switch to Unreal 4, there's a new site revamp that's live featuring a new name, Project TL. This might mean that the game will get a new new name going forward that will replace Lineage Eternal and of course Project TL as it moves of course closer to betas and launch, but it's great to see at least something new come from NCSoft regarding this title. It's always looked pretty awesome to me and since it's upgraded to the Unreal 4 engine now, it will only mean sexier graphics to complement its flashy gameplay. Let's just hope we hear about it again sooner rather than later, and if we do, we'll let you know right here on MMOBomb.com. The loot box controversy is making its rounds all across gaming, whether it's Guild Wars 2, Star Wars The Old Republic, Overwatch, or Battlefront 2, lots of people are talking about it, even governments. In China, loot boxes are already regulated, and it seems like Belgium might regulate them soon as well. The Belgian Gaming Commission is, quote, investigating whether Overwatch and Star Wars Battlefront 2 should be classified as gambling, end quote. Personally, I think it's hard to argue that loot boxes aren't gambling, but I do want to hear your guys' thoughts, so it's time for the question of the week. Last week on the show, I asked if you guys want Raider Z to return. Pretty much all of you stated that you'd be happy if the game did return, with some of you even mentioning that you'd rather have a Raider Z too. Thanks for your guys' responses, and as always, if you wish for your comment to be possibly featured on next week's show, make sure to leave a comment down below. This week's question is, do you think loot boxes should be classified as gambling? Why or why not? Last up in the news this week, if you're a Blade and Soul fan, you might be happy to hear that the newest expansion for the game, Dawn of the Lost Continent, will be arriving December 6th. Alongside this expansion comes a 12-player raid, two 6-player dungeons, one solo dungeon, and Act 8 of the game's storyline, which means a new level cap of 55. If you haven't played the game for a while and want to hop back in to check out the new content, but don't already have a level 50 to play, you can register on the game's website and receive a level 50 boost. All you have to do is register by December 1st or you'll miss out. Speaking of things you don't want to miss out on, giveaways, of course. Yes, head on over to mobump.com, check out that giveaways page, bookmark it, and check it daily to ensure you never miss one. As for myself, signing out till next week's show, my name is Zach Sharps and I'll... Catch you guys next time.